We turn our attention now to a summer anniversary. 21 years ago, this weekend, a major accident occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine, its history's worst nuclear disaster. Dozens died, millions were exposed to the radiation, and thousands were diagnosed with cancer as a result of the disaster. Decades later, communities in Ukraine and neighboring countries are still being affected by the fallout. UNTV traveled to the site of the disaster for this report. The ghost town of Pripet, abandoned by its citizens after the accident. High radiation levels make it uninhabitable for centuries to come. Grandma Nastya and Granddad Nikolai live in their little hut in the midst of the so-called exclusion zone, pronounced unfit for people. They were relocated after the accident, but came back to their roots, joining the ranks of few others unable to cope with life elsewhere. Slavutich, a new town some 40 kilometers from the nuclear power plant, built after the accident and not contaminated. Alexei and Tatiana raise their two daughters and have their hopes pinned on Slavutich. While debate on Chernobyl continues, a report compiled by affected countries and aid UN agencies in September 2005 made conclusions still valid today. The report predicted that the final death toll attributed to radiation could reach 4,000, a large number, but fewer than the tens or hundreds of thousands originally feared. Less than 50 deaths were related to acute radiation exposure, all among personnel who took part in the initial cleanup. Well, I think it, it, it tells people what the, the numbers really are, that the, there's, there's no speculation in that. There is some uncertainty in the values, but it's, it's very close around the 4,000 mark for cancer deaths, and, and the other speculations are just not valid. In addition, some 4,000 cases of thyroid gland cancer have been recorded since the Chernobyl disaster, mostly children and adolescents up to the age of 18 at the time of the accident. But the survival rate has been almost 99%. Experts have agreed that the largest public health problems were psychological effects, resulting in paralyzing fatalism and lack of employment opportunities. And what we advocate is, at the national level, uh, policies that really we advocate in all three, three of the countries generally, policies that encourage investment, that encourage the formation of small businesses, particularly in these areas of small family agricultural businesses. While some areas remain off limits, the majority of previously contaminated lands are now safe for living and agriculture. Nature healed its wounds and wildlife proliferated, particularly in the restricted areas. With UN Television, Vadim Muchkin and Peter Pavlicek reporting for CNN World.